ដោយសារសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស្ដីសួស
one model. Thank you. Come now to the chain of command. What were the methods? Used to control the different levels. the ຈົນຕະການໃນການຕຸປະນັດແບບນາ of the hierarchy of ការពុជាប្រជាធិបតេយ្យហើយខ្ញុំបានធ្វើការពិភាក្សាអំពីការគំរូនៃការប្រសាសន៍ Zone committee personnel and leaders from the center echelon which might take place in Phnom Penh or in the zones. Similarly, I note that communicated with lower echelon leaders within their own zones using written communication as well as face-to-face meetings. Zone leaders would sometimes go out and visit sector district and even cooperative echelons to examine what was happening within their broader I also mentioned in this section of my report that party, formal party meetings were required to be held at at each at periodic intervals. And this gave party committees at the various echelons strictly party issues organization party building and the organizational lines but also to discuss the implementation of specific directives from other Finally, I discussed the frequency of reporting among various echelons and note that the zones were required to report to the center at least once each week and that therefore, most likely, there was a similar regime of reporting from lower echelons uh, Does this address what you are is it right to conclude that reporting and relying on reports not the control to manage what's going on on the ground 
controls personal when it are got through the situation 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 the Yes, Council. Look, at your son, bad looks right, Mr. V. On many occasions, that we are aware of, and I strongly suspect, on many other occasions, of which we are not yet aware. Leaders from the party center, who are not yet aware, 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 and lower echelons of the organization to observe first hand what was happening around the country. Uh, this was a another method for them to gather information. And it's also a method that does not rely directly on accurate reporting by others. Thank you. You have described, um, you have described the vertical chain of command. Did the standing committee and the of the zones, sectors, districts, have effective control of the lower echelons according to research. Thank you, Council. This is a very complicated question. <laughs> Because, as you know, there were several zones and numerous sectors, many districts, and very many cooperatives and communes. And it's probably not reasonable to make a global generalization and expect it to apply in all places, at all I think that is particularly so in a case such as Democratic Kampuchea, where there was a very high incidence of what I refer to as organizational churning by the Chinese. There was constant purging of the ranks. Over time, this purging occurred virtually everywhere in the country. In many places, the purging happened again and again and again and again and again for the same office at the same Echelon. Under these circumstances, with continually changing leadership and conditions of high uncertainty, one would anticipate a of organization dysfunction implementation of policy. To put this in plain English, things were very confused and scary out there a lot of the time. All of that said, all of that said, the Communist Party of Kampuchea put a very high premium on obedience and discipline and strict implementation of the party lines as defined by the highest authorities of the party and thus 
I would argue, in most places, most of the time, the cadre were doing their very best. To implement the party's plans, as they could Thank you. I would like to discuss now uh, the training sessions. Um, you have already mentioned. Um, do you have knowledge of whether only partners from the same level attended? Training sessions or were the training sessions attended by cadres from different levels? Were the training sessions, for example, for all chairmen of security officers? Thank you, Council. There were many different kinds of training sessions, and training sessions were organized at various echelons of the party apparatus, from the center to the zone to the sector, and similarly in the military at the general staff level at the division level, and so on. In some instances, for example, the party center would summon district secretaries and often deputy secretaries from across the country for a training session designed for that echelon of the organization. In other instances, particularly in some of the sessions that I characterize as rallies, such as those held in stadiums, very large mass gatherings, which had many aspects of a training operation to them, there would be a mixture of different echelons. As for the gathering of secretaries of security offices for a training session, I am unaware of that having ever occurred. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Do you have knowledge also concerning training sessions, but I do not uh, refer to these mass uh, um, sessions like uh, in the Olympic Stadium, but uh, training, uh, smaller training sessions, and uh, also you have told us Nunchia and uh, Taught about the blind. Um, do you have any knowledge on which level the accused held and such training sessions? And uh, apart from those, in exactly in tool slang for staff of tool slang, do you have any knowledge? beyond of these sessions we have already discussed um, the accused involved in other training sessions. Do you have any knowledge on uh, which training sessions the accused was involved in training sessions? Yes, Council. I do. Beyond the internal training sessions, S21 training okay. sessions, which were periodically organized by the accused person himself 
senior personnel in particular to attend training sessions in the framework of the general staff training operations. So these training sessions would have been focused on learning about the organizational line, which is to say policies from Son Sen and perhaps occasionally from other leaders of the center addressing a military audience. And Thank you for this. I come now to my last question, last but not least question. Um, according to your research um, and what we have heard this morning uh, from the accused and uh, repeating Again and again, the structure. Is it credible that Son Sen assigned other tasks personally to the execution of average ten people per day Thank you, Council. That's a very interesting question. I would recall that Son Sen was a member of the party standing committee. He was Deputy Prime Minister for National Defense. He was Chief of Staff of the Revolutionary Army of Cambodia. Thus, he had many responsibilities. He must have been a very, very busy man. Earlier today, the accused person told us, and I quote, My superior paid attention to the interrogations of important people. Quote. This is entirely credible. Charged with responsibility for ensuring internal security, as he was, would have paid very close attention both to the interrogation of certain important prisoners as well as to ensuring that they were smashed once the interrogations were complete. However, when one examines the Office of Co-Prosecutors combined S-21 prisoner list. We see that many individuals who were processed through S-21 could not really be considered important in terms of organizational responsibility or hierarchical status. For example, in the Ministry of Social Action, many very ordinary, illiterate peasant girls were given a few hours of training on how to make injections with a syringe were then declared to be nurses and work in hospitals. A surprising number of such people ended up being tortured and executed at S21 on accusations of being 
รงการจอประกันทาจิบเนี่ยเงียบ CIR หรือกบเนี่ยเงียบ KCB It is indeed difficult for me to believe จำนวนนี้เกี่ยวกับวิจารณ์สำหรับย่อมดำไปเอาเธอย่อมชื่อทาง Heavy national responsibilities that Son Sen carried would spend any time at all paying much attention to the interrogation or execution of such individuals. Okay. Thank you. I have no further questions. Mr. V. Som Okun, can you ask some more? Nah, cie cengkau ini kan kita di nak menang dan menang dalam ni kromui, memian temu bayi, cuy, kita di. Sama kon lo petian, kenyam memian temu tai mui temu te dalam bayi su tu, nak jam ni. สมโนบักย่อมเป๊ะปอนต์ตั้งหลิกคัดชลาวชลองตามรอยเยอะสายบันดาวยนึกน้องโกนอยู่ใบปะกัมปิเจียปิเจียทับปะไตนึกเป
although we do not have a tremendous amount of detail on how this worked in practice. I think it's reasonable to conclude that indeed when messages regarding someone to be brought to S21 have to be set out to say Montenegro province the way this would have been done is most likely through a coded message sent by the General Staff Communication Apparatus. I would like to I could go into more detail on this, but unfortunately, uh, as with an earlier issue, the more detailed information we have on this issue is part of case file 2, which is currently the subject of a judicial investigation by the Office of Co-Investigating Judges and is uh, therefore uh, a still confidential at this point in time. Um, but uh, have my comments so far addressed your question, Council? <laughs> ອະໄວໄດ້ខ្ញុំຈອງດັງນຸຄືເປຍປອນຕະເລລິຂັດໄດ້ឆ្លາຍឆ្លອງ <coughs> គឺគាត់និយាយថារលិខិតហ្នឹងគឺមានការឆ្លងកាត់តាមរយៈថ្នាក់ដឹកនាំរបស់គាត់គឺលោកសិនសេនហើយអញ្ចឹងខ្ញ
nhà ở bị ép một tí sau một hơi mùi cứ sắp tài miên chấm nà nó bê đáy lý khẩn nốt tự đó nạn đặc nóm cư lục sân sền ta mên tế Look, no counsel. I don't believe that is correct. For example, in the period after September 1977, we have numerous examples of documents that contain no annotations which would suggest they had necessarily been circulated And we also have examples of documents from across the entire course of the operations of S21, which contain no handwritten annotations at all. So these documents may have been circulated to a party or parties unknown. But there is no indication on them from annotations whether or not they were. And chúng nhóm xong bắt đầu làm bài bài chuyện bắt hai em cứ nhóm còn để chọn sửa tới lúc thà ta nó bị đại lịch khách nam mùi đại bản chung rồi viên thân nạc rõm tới thân nạc lơ cho lòng cắt tâm rồi dạy lúc xin xên bắt này bị mẫn tì xo một phê mùi tới phùm phía rồi có tới con bồ cứ tới tới cho lòng tâm rồi dạy lúc xin xên nhóm chọn sửa thà ta mình các cầm nó xong coi dạng mấy thật bấm bây giờ đang thật ta lịch khẩn nút bàn đo đầy lục sân sên hãy tự bàn chiên tự đo phía kỳ mặt hàng tiền tam ca sẽ ra chỉ bỏ lúc ta lúc mình xong kết khơi chùm nạch trong chùm nạch năng đại tự tế mình ấy chưa cầm nó xong coi đại tự tế Thank you counsel Lúc Edison xong mà con lúc xoay mê thị vi there were a variety of ways that this kind of information could be indicated on an S21 letter or confession or other documents. For example, it might simply say handwritten at the top sent to brother or it might say two copies to Nuon or it might simply say already or it might say something like one copy to Northwest Zone there was no formal method. Instead, we see a variety of more or less informal methods for indicating on these documents where they had been routed to and when they had been sent. Thật tế bê ná đã kê bàn trà lỡ hai năng bê ná đã kê bàn bằng chút ai cả xa nụ tử. Khi nhóm xong bật to, tiện tông tên nâng lịch khẩn mũi. Đại lịch khẩn nông cư lực lãng đo khang ngời xa hạ bởi rì ở nhá. Bởi xanh bò lịch khẩn nông khi nhóm lực lãng khóc nhóm xong ai khang lục xa hạ bởi rì ở nhá. Mệt ta chui bật chạy. Likat nang min lai i o an Son, son, son Ma phai buôn Dob pra mùi Chia phía xa khmai Khi nhom pom bàn đăng lai kô chia phía xa ong 
Lete. If I can help. สหประชาชาติเนี่ยบ้านสันที่ขย่มอาช่วยบ้านลูกประเทศนี้คือที่ไอกระซ่าได้จดหน้าที่สามสัปดาห์อุสภีขนาดเจ็ดสัปดาห
ຈຸມລອງແຕ່ອັນປະມູນນໍອ້າຍຂ້ອຍຕາອ້າຍກະສາຂ້ອຍ Yes, we can, Mr. President, but may I just correct one matter that Dr. Etcheson has mentioned. The co-prosecutors have provided for all parties a list of the documents and haven't provided the documents. Themselves. The English uh, version of that document. I guess I put the document on the screen. ខាងអ្នកជំនាញសតុសុំជាប់មកកុំព្យូទ័ររបស់ខាងផ្នែកដំណាងសហប្រជាជនដើម្បីបង្ហាញពីឯកសារនេះដល់អង្គញំនិយ
ai lai ni lok mandat ai yol hai ampi khlom sa nei le khat da pea pon nang samnua ni me ka pon pong sua dai me de vi rum ni chi samnua pea pon nang samnua ni ai lai dam bai ban chea pi pua ka ka sua ni me ka pea pon nang chom na da pea pon nang ai ka sa phi sa khmae krai lo tha chom na nang mun mien ka bo prae mun nang chea bo prae tha yang mai te yang dam bai oi chom bas som khang sa pri nya ban chang ampi ai ka sa ni do dai ban chai chi phi sa khmae ສູ່ຕັ້ງສໍານວນຖ້າຈະໄຖ່ບໍ່ຕ້ອງຕິດເອ່ອເອ່ອຈົ່ງປູ້ເອ່ອລູກແນ່ຈຸນຽນຍັ
ปีปรุไอ้คือถ้ามาเมียนพอตางนับตัวปีนี้เป็นเตะสมอคุณขยมสมออกสมโนให้หนึ่งขยมสมเตะสมโนบอกสมโนข้างสหเมตวีบอร์เตะบอกนักนองกรมขยมก่อเมียนสมโนปตอติดได้จังสมกับอันหยาดปีโลกปฏิเสธดับใบปะกอลเวทการนิจูนสหเมตวีอันตรายจิตบอกขยมสมอคุณสมเจงเมตวีอันตรายจิตกรมมวยวันใดสมข้างสตัวมองไปกรองตัวตัวนั่นเตอร์ปลอกอะไรเพียบวิ่งยังน่ากูเดือดร้อนนั่งเลยนะยังน่าอยากไป for more than 10 minutes 20 minutes so have have some questions for for the experts and I'm happy to start for a few minutes if you want me to start from first to more I'm in your hands สำหรับเนี่ยจุดนี้เฮ้ยคุณยมกึศหาคุณยมกู้ด้วยกับมันกู้ทุกการตังสมรู้เนี่ยเป็นนี่คืออะไรจะลบใจกล้อมจริงเนี่ยกำหนดหนึ่งสำหรับเรามองบนมาพยในตีเฮยยังเกี่ยการกำหนดการเพียงการสามารถแต่มองบนดับพรำในตีตีเฮยการปรังไพรตัวเด็ดลุกระแตการปันธมานวิอาจับโดยดำเนินการสามารถการนี้อายกรมมุยในเมียนธนูเปียพลเชิญเฮยมายังติดพิกีคางมิตรวีเนี่ยดำเนินเนี่ยมิตรวีการเพียงใดในแต่เมียนออกกะนงกาตั้งสมโนดอลเนี่ยจุดเดียวจะได้เลยดิฉันเองจุดเดียวสมรจิตาดำเนินการสำหรับการในไทยนี่ะตรงนี้ให้เลือกเติมต่อสำหรับการในไทยไอเวลีมองประมูลโดยสับดองหรือมองประมูลปรึกจังคืออันตรายมันตีคงแข็งนอมจุดเดียวเจ้าตะกันมันตีคงแข็งเว้นให้นอมกอดบกันตีนี้ในไทยไอเวลีมองประมูลให้ลูกเกรกกิจสันคือสมอคุณลูกชราในบ้านอัตมุตนองกาองคุยในที่นี้นำไปชลัยหนึ่งสมนุบสิมซิงครองเนียมยินเนี่ยชมเนียมให้ยังคือกอดมุกอเคยทำเมกาหน่วยฮอตชราในซาโจลดำเนินการสำนักการนั่นคือจำนายปีบลีชราจิงกีแต่ปัญไตตามกาเพียกอในปีบลีไปให้จะใส่พฤกนี่ยังอาจจบเฮ้ยจังคือองค์ยมเนี่ยสมอันชื่นลูกหมกสุดสักไข่กัมเปียปอนหนึ่งอังเฮดในบ้านนั่งระบายการบอกลูกนี่เชียร์บรรทอนในสายไอ้เดี๋ยวจะไปเรียนมองบนบนประตู